Hi folks, Modelling Mark here again. Now the knurling tool is finished, I'm about to start a new project which is the Stuart Progress oscillating engine. But first of all, a new sticker board. I've had a couple of nice stickers turn up. First of all, you've got Stuart's Chednanigans. Stuart's a really nice guy, a Brit living over in the States. Uh, does a lot of machining, a lot of tooling. Currently he's just finished repairing, restoring a Cincinnati mill. Very interesting channel, well worth a visit. Next we've got Model Engineering Adventures. This is Andy and Michelle, and Andy makes really nice model steam engines. He's just finished a really nice Stuart triple expansion steam engine, complete with steam turbine, as you would have found on the Titanic. Michelle's a very bobbly presenter. She's also a very good artist. The sticker turned up with a greetings card uh, done by Michelle. I'll put a link to Michelle's website in the description. On to the Stuart Progress. This comes with a book rather than a conventional set of drawings which is mildly annoying and some of the dimensions are missing. However, Sarah over on the Home Model Engine Machinist forum has made a set of drawings which she's kindly sent to me. I've been using these which has been a big help. This is the contents of the kit. The main parts of the engine are cast in cast iron. They're actually all quite nicely cast. Then we've got the fittings kit, a bit of bar stock, the cylinder lagging. Lastly, there's a sheet of jointing paper. Nice British jointing paper. Makes you proud to use that. I'm going to make a start with the flywheel. I've held this in a three jaw chuck on the inside of the rim. And you can see from the height gauge that it's actually running fairly true. I'm more concerned about the inside of the rim than the outside because the outside's going to get machined anyway. Machining the flywheel is quite straightforward, so I won't narrate this part. I'll just let you watch while I get on with it. Blow. Okay, let's try that again.
There were no dimensions for the flywheel except for the diameter. So I machined it more or less by eye, except for the diameter, which came out at spot on two and a half inches. I'll take that. Now I've turned it round in the chuck and I'll cut off the chucking spigot, which I didn't need anyway. Concentricity on this side isn't really important as I'm only facing off, but I put the clock on it just to check it wasn't too far out. Either my three jaw chuck is far better than I should expect, or I got lucky.
Here's the finished flywheel, all by the hole for the grub screw and filing off the casting marks around the spokes. Thanks for watching folks. Next time I'll be doing the frame of the progress engine. If you enjoyed the video please click the like and subscribe. I really appreciate it. Thanks again. See you next time.